will take getting the ability to silence karma in the late game. So on the plus side, on the plus side, five damage immediately off the off, off which you on turn two. So I'll take that, of course. Whoa. Hello, Gomez here from the Land Up Channel again with another deck for you today. This one is called Starry Night. Let's get into this. So as I say, this deck is called Starry Night, and I'm gonna say there's a lot of these kind of decks going round at the moment in terms of the fact that it's basically Targon, uh, mono, which are mono Targon, but with a little, a little add of something else. So you've been seeing a lot of Targon with a little add of Damasia in terms of they've just got like the landmark from Damasia or which and things like this. This one's actually um, a little, little dab of Shadow Isles, and the only dab of Shadow Isles is Atrocity in this deck because of the fact that basically. Um, You've got big, big units and big things that can come out of the Celestials. Uh, the idea is that if it gets into the late game and you need to, that option is open to. Now, I'm going to uh, say right off the bat that uh, this deck was actually inspired by another creator because I definitely feel like it is what you need to uh, give credit to people where credit is due. So this one, actually, I popped by uh, Fake Hero Free. I popped by their stream quite recently and they were playing a very similar deck to this basically this deck uh made a little little alterations myself but it's it's in essence about 90 odd percent or not maybe even 95 percent um their deck so i gotta say gotta give credit to that if you've not checked out fake hero he's an amazing streamer as well as content creator so definitely give him a go because he, he's really smart with the way that he does his moves and things like that he's, de he's definitely a lot so he, he goes a lot more down the meta route than i do i go more along the way let's put some silly crap together and see what happens whereas if you want proper meta advice i would definitely recommend fake Hero, so yeah, no, definitely check out his stream uh, as well as that. Listen, he does actually have some YouTube content as well. Uh, but now that which, now that we've got the uh, things that because credit where credit is due, okay? Because that's that, at the end of the day, I would want the same thing if somebody took like a deck that was kind of inspired by something I'd done. I would like credit, so I want to make sure that I'm crediting. Like, treat the treat others as thou would like to be treated thou self. So anyway, let's quickly get into all the different parts of this. So. We're running one Asol and we're running uh, two Dianas, three Zoes. So uh, the idea here is that we've got the early game kind of covered, as well as the fact that like a uh, Diana is really good in terms of the fact that she's got the ability to trade things off quite nicely, especially if you put her on the board before she levels up on her Nightfall. She's got the challenge. Um, so there's like a, the ability, which it challenged with quick attack. So there's the ability to get things off the board. But also once she levels, there is that nice thing of being able to basically um, get things off the board when needed. Now, you're going to say to me, but Gomez, there's not very much other than, which, other than Power Cascade and one one copy of Moonlight Affliction. There's not very much going on for the, which, for the um, Nightfall. But that is, that is fine because the idea here is that we basically want to try to be used the power cascades for draw uh there which i believe that when fake hero was running this they were running three dianas and not which and no asol uh because then they wanted the ability of draw and that which to be fair it's a valid it's a definitely a valid way to do it probably is far more superior to what i'm doing but i wanted to have aso in this deck because of the fact that literally because i'm because eclipse dragons in here because atrocities in here to be able to like even like you don't want to be targeting your ASO, you want to be targeting one of the Celestials or even the Eclipse Dragon. But if push comes to shove and you need to do like a significant damage, there's no counter. Bear in mind, this, you need to make sure there's no counter your opponent can do. 10 damage going into the, their enemy nexus on a, on a unit which has got spell shield, so it's going to be really hard for them to get through. It's not bad. It's not a bad move as a finisher if, if it's needed. But anyway, let's really get into which is get into the thing. So as I said, um, this is just so basically you can just get your Diana out really quickly. Uh, bearing in mind that the only unit that this is going to affect is going to be Diana because there, as I said, there is no units and it only works dusk, which it dusk, which it only works on uh, units. It doesn't work on spells, so it won't work on power cascade. And it won't work on. Uh, Moonlight Affliction, but what the good thing is about it is that if Diana's not there, don't worry, you've got a sketcher who could just like, you know, uh, dispose of that if needed, so just discard uh, to be able to create things. So, but you do have really early presence. If you have Zoe, sketcher, and a couple of starry scamps, uh, which you've got the ability, obviously, of 
get in the board and fill in the board very quickly especially like those side counts can just get on the board very quickly if you start off with zoe in your hand and with your or spacey sketcher and, sketcher and the with scamps that can just like kick off really quickly on your side of the board um hush standard like in terms of just being able to help like get you through the game up until the point of lethal of just throwing that atrocity in uh power cast game for draw you've got which you have the priestess in here yeah again just to give you those options in terms of um so whether or not you want to be like golden sisters is the one you more want to go for but depends on the situation right if, if you need a challenge if there's something you really need to get off your opponent's side get off but which is uh, golden sisters is your main thing because bear in mind you are also running two copies of the skies descend which for every single celestial on the board this starts to cost one less this is your main board removal because you're playing so many dragons because you're playing um so many like uh, things that can create celestials so like because uh, you've got that celestial stuff going on and also mountain scribe to make those invoke things cost less you basically are using skies descent as your removal tool as, as well like uh, your big wide removal tools um Sunforger is actually in here for stabil which is stabilization because he's got the, the life still as well as the fact that you've also got uh which is uh star which is that star shaping so both of these kind of can yet again help you just survive keep that life like uh, up and going and then boom hit in with what you need to at the end the other good thing about moonlight affliction the reason why there's a copy of this in the deck is because literally that can block like if it's on your attack turn you can use this to um stop your enemies from blocking for that one round and if you've got big things on the board like aso eclipse dragon loads of different celestials the ability to be able to stop prevent things from blocking and knowing that that damage is going to go in is devastating as well as the fact that obviously silencing two units for a round is actually really important as well right in terms of the fact that if they're coming forward with a big attack that you need to be stopping like there's certain bits that buff certain things up you need to get rid of them moonlight affliction is also a really good way of doing it for two things at once kind of thing so that's why uh moonlight affliction is actually like a really versatile move that could be used either when you're attacking or when defending um so that's why would you like it's in here starburst it's just really good removal it near enough gets rid of near enough all champions uh there are obviously a set exceptions to that rule but most champions that gets rid of um We've got which got like uh, the eclipse dragon in here just gonna help uh, make a cell cost less but it also makes your celestials cost less considering the fact that you've got a lot of things that are making celestials as well as the scryer making them cheaper that is the ability of making them cheaper which is as well as well as you can just play it on nightfall and just get celestials and dragons out of it so it opens up different array of options um so this is the the, which is the basic deck please let me know what you think about the deck down in the which get the description down below it's called starry skies as i said we are starry night which uh, basically is a, is a reference to van gogh's which had uh, masterpiece uh, i'm not saying this is a masterpiece of my creation because de this is definitely not a masterpiece of my creation but i like the name um but yeah so please let me know what you think down in the conversation down below as well as like the, obviously shameless plug time twitch twitter and instagram you can catch me on all those things less so on instagram but you can definitely catch me on twitch and on twitter L i'm live on mondays tuesdays wednesdays and thursdays on twitch so you want to come catch the madness live and have a little bit of a talk with gomez then please feel free to as well as the fact that obviously there is the discord link down below if you want to join the discord where you can get in there come up with deck ideas together like a try and like a go through different things it's, it's always a good laugh and whatnot so why not consider those options as well as the fact that um if you're not already subscribed why not consider that i mean wait till the end of the video see whether or not i entertain you enough that make you decide to hit that button but without further ado let's get into this okay right so this this is the go hard deck right this is um everything this is the go hard though. This is something he's trying, trying to keep the dream alive. Um, okay, gonna get rid of that. Gonna get rid of that for the time being. But that's not actually a bad start. Had the main problem that we know with this kind of deck is that they definitely run vile feast and they definitely run which could uh, weeping a uh, withering whale or whatever. He's like they definitely run all of those things. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, problematic. Uh, if we can get. A quick enough burst on our opponent we might be able to do okay because the thing is so basically if we play sketcher if we can play sketcher and then get a celestial in hand if we can get the zero cost um what's this face the zero cost serpent we can activate this and throw that on the board as well like i basically just have a massive board i kind of hope that i top deck something which i don't mind discarding because uh, I'm not gonna lie. I don't. Or 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 that that 
Why did it take him so long to make that decision? <laughs> Why did it take him so long to make that decision? But okay, Beardo has confirmed that is the Go Hard deck, which we assumed it's what it was going to be anyway, right? So... I don't really... I don't really want to get rid of... Mo I'm going to get rid of Star Shaping. I might end up regretting that decision later on down the line. Uh, but the reason I want to keep this is because the ability of getting um no, play that. um the ability of getting um like the ability to that like silence karma in the late game i would take getting the ability to silence karma in the late game so on the plus side on the plus side five damage immediately off the off, off which it on turn two so i'll take that of course Woo! But they've, they've got a lot of healing resources themselves, right? They've got Withering Well, they've got um, all these different things. So, feels like I'm walking into a trap, Yugi. Fast turn. But then she just go for an immediate open. Go for an immediate open attack. Just because I feel that we are trying to stop them from being able to play things. We're getting down to 10 health. They do have the ability, as I said, of doing like a much cap. That's what I mean, so things like that. I don't mind countering that so starry skies or warrior i'm gonna take starry skies i'm gonna take starry skies right now not gonna lie didn't need to see that but okay gonna throw that out gonna throw that out because it just gives me more options to trade just gives me more options to trade with on the board at this moment in time potentially withering whale withering whale removes like three items from our side of the field Ah, yes. The big man has come. So, ooh, not, not who I wanted. Not who I wanted, but I will take them. Um, pro her out. There's not much that he can do. We've got a power cascade. Find your own not much. Um, we have a power cascade as well. Admittedly, it probably would cherish. have been better to play her Move next turn. Step. Probably would have been better to play her next turn and get the challenge. Then we could have challenged... Um, Crash off the board. Could have challenged Crash off the board. I'm not gonna lie, it probably would have been the better plan. Um, if we power cascade, get his would you get his health down to four is an option. It also gives us a bit of draw. Our light grows brighter. Also gives us a bit of draw. I might end up wishing that I'd saved that, but we do know that we've got the atrocity move as well. We could actually just go into a move where we basically use. So we go into an immediate. Um, burst speed like petal because we don't give a crap about it petal into moonlight affliction keep both of these two back and then just go forward cannot turn back. because yeah again he can only defend there admittedly yeah no he's got one really good option but he is going down to three and we do have an atrocity Admittedly, we do know we're playing against Go Hard, and we know that that is an issue right now in terms of the fact that we are playing against Go Hard. But I feel like we've got to go for the move. Potential Withering Whale, well, as I already said, which Withering Whale well does now remove two things from our from our field of play. It also heals our opponent as well, for which is so. There is there is that. Might have been a bit ballsy, but I like it. I, I'll go with the ballsy move at this moment in time. I'll go with the crazy the crazy man ballsy move at this moment in time. So, yep, just wanted to do that. So, I mean, it, does, it still doesn't actually trade, by the way. Like, she still... She, Diana still stays alive, and our opponent still do, still goes down to six, um, which isn't bad. But it does mean that she is now in Withering Well territory, we right? Peace to Ionia, it does mean she's in Withering Well territory. So, we just need to hope that our opponent doesn't find the heal stuff that they need. Because as long as our opponent doesn't find the heals that they need... Uh, we have got an atrocity move that could eventually, like, you know, cause significant pain and anguish to them. Could cause significant pain and anguish to our opponent. So, we could play this. I'm actually, I'm actually gonna go for it. I'm gonna go, because it, it opens up a new avenue that our opponent basically has to decide, wait a minute, do I, do I decide this? Also, this means that we get the ability to get an elusive on the board. And yet again, the open attack is, the open attack is just too good. That's fine, you can take her. She knew the risks, she knew the risks. Um, potential, ah, oh, see that, ah, uh, he changed his fight. I mean, he does realize I still got the quick attack. I mean, that's fine. You know, we don't mind, we don't mind. We can take taking a, a crap load of damage. Actually, 
I guess if we get if we get favourable trades, we we do favourable trades. But if we're not going to get favourable trades, um, so we go down to twelve. I can take that. Throw out the elusive. Throw out the elusive, and then we know that we've also got the atrocity move as a background. We've got like heals for days. So that's less of our issue. Admittedly, stuns, withering whale, go hard. All those things are problems, but withering whale is the worst problem. Withering whale is the worst problem, but we go. <laughs> we go! So he basically has got to make sure that he's covering like every every place, but not only that, I think we do have the atrocity move. So our opponent basically needs to have deny as well right now they need to have deny so i want to see i want to see whether or not we can get out any of their mana right now because there's a there is like a potential so grasp grasp of the undying so we can stop that so he doesn't get that heal we can stop would you we can stop that heal from being a thing with atrocity it's not the best thing but at least it means that our opponent is still on free, or do we? Because I mean that that means that so if we if we do if we don't do anything, they go to nine. We have got options potentially in the celestial range, which might I feel like I feel like I'm actually going to leave that. I feel like I'm actually going to leave that because there there is things within the celestial range which could prove prove useful. I mean, admittedly, they have got a, they have got a lot of trade ups there, so admittedly. It might end up being like really problematic to wish it to us that we let that happen, right? That we decided that we wanted to go Billy Big Bollocks. But, and considering the fact that, yeah, there we go. So the go hard, go hard also hits. We could have technically saved her life with uh, star shaping. Could have technically saved her life with star shaping. I might end up regretting the decision that I made. Might end up regretting the decision that was made. Because considering the fact they could also have. Like, so many counters for Zoe, right? So many different counters for Zoe. Um, Great Beyond. Great Beyond does have a spell shield as well as a, a nice stat line that could be used here. I'm actually going to I'm gonna take that. I'm going to take that. Because I want to be playing something on the field that I feel confident in its, like, strength. Because bearing in mind that Karma levels, like, not ne not his next turn, but the turn, like, our attack turn, Karma levels. Which is, I'm not going to lie, it's not what I need to see. But we might be able to still find a way around it. Hey, so of course, he, of course he ends up in the hand now. In, in When he's, what, one turn away from being able to actually be played. Okay, so they immediately go forward with everything. Um... I feel like we have to. We should. We feel like, I feel like we defend. I feel like we defend here. Just because if that deck. I mean, also. Oh, we already know that he's, he's got um, go hard. We already know that our opponent's running go hard. But this also means that um, they've got. What you call it? it? It also means that if they've got unspeakable horror. If they got Unspeakable Horror and they were to go directly into our core of Unspeakable Horror, it wouldn't be so much of a problem. So, our plan here is an immediate open. If they get the stun, we basically want to force their mana down because we want to get rid of Deny possibility as well. So, if we can force, I mean, potential, because of so Spell Shield is just hopefully going to keep this alive for long enough. Because bear in mind, I said, like, he hasn't leveled yet. Singular, I mean, okay, right, I mean, that, that's still okay. I mean, it's not 100% okay because that has just activated the spell shield. And also he's got, he's got a doom beast in hand that is going to cause me problems. But we can immediately go forward and see what our opponent does as counter. She, they do level, but by forcing their immediate, which is by forcing their immediate hand to deal with the situation, uh, we have got an atrocity move that might end up being our plan. And if not, we've got an A-Soul that we can drop. Oh! Oh, look, I know, I know, you know, I honestly, I was expecting stuns. I was expecting vengeance. I was expecting so many things then. I'm so glad that none of them hit.
Ah, good old discard, which is discard aggro. Good old discard aggro. I know you well. I know you well. Um, potentially actually keeping star shape, but if you can, if you can get to a point where you can um, heal back the damage that they do, if they burn, if they burn out, like run out of steam. I'm not gonna lie, Poro, Poro Cannon and Poro is not is not why I need to see it to start this game, but I know I'm gonna see it. Okay, we leave that. The reason why we leave that is because we can play Zoe and put a Power Cascade on her if our opponent plays Poro Cannon. So this just helps because it gives us the option of Hush or, or this or or, or, or or our opponent just goes to get excited, which sadly we can't get past. We can still watch it. We can still play this. We still play this and get um, force two damage in, so I'll take that. And also, what you need to bear in mind is any damage spell, any damage that they are putting into a unit rather than your face with this god aggro, you're actually winning in a weird, weird, weird way. You're actually winning when when that happens. So what we can do? So the question: Do we just go over hush, hush power cascade, hush power cascade? Just get rid of Draven. Watch and I would, I would prefer to hush Power Cascade Jinx away. I would prefer to hush Power Cascade Jinx away, but I will take I will take Draven as he's on the board at this moment in time and our opponent has only got so much going on in their hand. So I'll take that. My beautiful face. Ah, he does have a beautiful face, I will admit that. He's got glorious moustache. Like the moustache that goes down, he's got glorious moustache. Right. We're gonna go for the more value, more value game. So, admittedly, we could just immediately play this. We could go with Celestial into Celestial, um, but I'm actually gonna go Celestial into Charger because, or like Fibbage, because we basically want to be forcing our opponent to have to have to decide: do they want to defend or do they want to take damage? I mean, it's gonna end up being, of course, of course. So they do get a good, they do get a good trade off there but I'd rather get the overwhelm damage in. So they can trade there, but we still get the overwhelm damage in if they do this trade. If we wait, if we waited to do a defense move or something like that, we wouldn't get, we wouldn't get the move off of it. So that, that's fine, that's fine. I, I will take that. I, I will take at least getting a little bit of damage in on my opponent and trading away a unit. I'll take that. Considering the fact they want to build a board because they've got things like crowd, uh, crowd, um, whatever that's called. We want to kind of be forcing out their moves. We want to be forcing. We want to force them into a big board, and then we want to trade off that big board. We could technically throw this in front of here. We know for a fact that our opponent has got like a two elusives going on. We're gonna leave it. We're gonna leave it. I might end up regretting. I might end up regretting leaving that, but we're gonna leave it. So we could get heals into our into our core. Yeah. So we could go with heals into core. With the aim of going for something that is seven cost. The reason we're going to go for something that is seven cost is because it will cost six and we can play it next turn. Depends on obviously what we top deck, but that just gives us that just gives us a few options, right? In terms of the fact that we can just throw that out. Throw that out. It does mean spanking all of our mana. We know we've got an atrocity move. We know that we've got like options in that front, so we can also just like, you know. So we go, we go forward, we go forward because yeah, that is that is basically lethal, right? Because now all we've got to do, the fact he didn't even block, we can now just throw an atrocity because they haven't got any heals going on in their deck. The sun's out, the crowd's ready. I mean, we're, we're, we're throwing that out first so that he knows that we've got defense. I mean, as well as the fact that that would mean that I mean, actually, that that that's meaningless. Don't worry about it. Um, so I I know that our opponent can't do anything about this, but. Just in case, even though I know, I, I know, I know that's lethal because they have no heals. Um, there's very little that could be going on in that hand right now that would mean that they could come back into this. So I'll just take that victory. That's not too bad. This got aggro. Fast deck. Fast deck. Got him. <laughs> Timo says, Ah, the classics. <laughs> you, you gotta love the classics. My problem is gonna be. Okay, at least I've got counter for Teemo, like turn one Teemo. I mean, really, it's our turn one move first, but uh, we've got the, the counter to that. My main, the one thing I don't have is counter to T 
turn one, turn one thermal. Do we wait? Do we wait and see whether or not our opponent plays um, Fibonacci, or do we just go for it? Turn one thermal. Turn one thermal. Hoping not. Oh, turn one team. I'll take that. Um, we have got Power Cascade. Uh, do we just? I mean, I. Is it stupid that I kind of want to just trade off the Teemo? We've got, you know, things, we've got options for trading that team off in other ways. I'll leave it. I might end up regretting that decision to just not straight up just kill him. Like, in terms of go forward and see whether or not our opponent trades. I might end up regretting that decision. You live to regret this! Pass the turn. So... We have the ability to throw a power cascade on top of Zoe so that she can actually trade with this and still stay alive. My main thing is that I, I, I kind of... I could do that, right? Because the thing of it... Right, the, my, my reasoning for doing this, as stupid as it may sound, is that that becomes an engine to level his Sejuani. Like, if we stop the, if we stop the, the Sejuani engine in its tracks, <laughs> the choo-choo of that... Does kind of stop. I, you know what? This is the worst time for me to do this. This is the worst time for me to do this because I give my I, I've given him the best possible chance of counter, but I don't mind trading that off. I might I might have wished it should have like played Starry Scamp. Could have gone round like you know done. Nothing of course, of course our opponent has got fit. At least at least we can at least we can counter that with Hush. I might I, I feel like I. I not played this the best, but I will accept the mistakes that I've made. Because there's so many different moves our opponent could do to stop this in terms of troll chant, suit up, who the foos, hoppable, hog. There are so much good things which did yet. Yeah, but it's okay, it's okay. It's not the best. It's not the best. I'm not gonna lie and say that it is the best. But it's okay. That man has to die. That man has to die. He has to die significantly. Um, okay. So we could, but that's the thing. I don't really want to waste the star shaping for no for no particular reason. Um, essentially, just scam going into power cascade for a bit of draw. Right now, just go forward. It's not likely that he's going to defend. I don't think so anyway. Okay. Oh, 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 now, now he defends, but he's only going to defend with one of them. He's not going to defend with the pet. I mean, if he defends with Peddler, it's the biggest mistake of his life. But he could, he could defend with Peddler, right? Okay. Feel like we. I feel like we force down. I mean, or do we just we, we force his health down, right? We just force our opponent's health down because the idea here is that we know that we've got an atrocity move. We just have to get. We just need to find something big to throw in his core. So, yeah, it's not this. It's not this crap about thinking. Oh, do we do more damage to that man? No, 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 no. We just go fully big. We've got heal move. We've got all this like. You know, we're we're playing silly bollocks. Let's play the big man bollocks. Our strength is okay. Yours. So, play this. Potential of um. Or do we just go traveler? But probably thinking, do I take warrior? Probably also thinking, do I just take traveler? Do I take traveler to invoke even more? So just like a go. I, 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 I feel like building the ball because we do know that we have got um skies descend in this deck. So there's actually the nothing wrong with going with a full on crazy move. Okay, much of me is thinking Moonlight Affliction. This, oh, this might end up being silly, but so much of me is just thinking Moonlight Affliction. We could actually stop a little bit of damage there. But part of me is like, has he got, if he's got a one mana spell, I'd rather not allow him to get um, things into my... I'd, I'd rather not allow my opponent to get things into my core. Don't scare me. So, or just going to do that. Just going to do that. So that's two Teemos down. That's two Teemos down, okay? I'll accept that. I'll accept two Teemos down with no shrooms in my deck as of yet. As a song. Dog. Dog, so that we can build a ball. We, we get draw and build a ball. Because let's face it, like, you know, we, we kind of need bald right now. We kind of need bald right now, so, because. What we want to be doing is at least defend ourselves and we want to try to pick some damage in where we can. I'm going to just leave that. 
because our plan now we, we know we've got atrocity we've got heals we've got an aso in hand if we can um at least get ourselves so that we're in a nice place play aso on 10 pain is nothing i mean that's that's it's not what you want it's it's not the pain that i want to see but okay um Golden Sisters. We could have actually played Traveler this round, but we're not going to. We're not going to be playing. Um, what's his face? Stand together. Okay. I wish I. Had, I wish I had a Power Cascade right now. I wish I had a Power Cascade. How does our opponent not know that we haven't got a Power? Okay, fine. Um, gonna force down that health. Force down that one. We go down to five, which is significant. Um, take that i kind of want to try and keep celestials on the board if i can keep celestials on the board because i said we do know that we do have a really big really big uh which get moving skies to send we, as long as we can keep celestials on the board so okay i wish i honestly wish i had a power cascade to at least remove this man right now so shrooms 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 um zog zog Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for healing to my core. I'll wait until this move happens. Not that it means anything because literally we're just gonna be healing for the same. We're gonna be healing for the same amount that we would have healed for anyway. The problem is now that they are slowly but surely getting closer and closer to that um, Sejuani play. So potentially, rather than playing sisters, we play the Great Beyond. We play the Great Beyond next turn, and that allows us to get in eight damage, and we're going to trust. I mean, that feels like the good finisher move, right? Because we've already killed two of their Teemos. We've killed two of their Teemos, so the likelihood, the likelihood of them having the third and final Teemo in hand at this exact moment in time is less likely. Battle. So we go forward. We go forth. And then atrocity next turn. Boom, 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 Right. Because yet again, he can't even really frostbite that. It's got oh, it's got a uh, spell shield. It's good. It would take multiple resources for our opponent to frostbite this. Attack. So they immediately go immediately go with the biggest open that you've ever that you ever did see. Um We defend here and defend here. Would we actually live? I mean, we'd live if we we'd live if we used star shaping that we don't have. Um, do we live? No, we don't live. Oh, well, I mean, to be fair, I said we don't. We got the atrocity move, so that, that's that's that, that that's all we need in our lives. So it's fine. So you might kill me, but I also kill you, Yugi. I mean, the thing is that it requires like two frostbites to get round the spell shield, or at least like a target and frostbite. He's only got four cards that we don't know of. Okay, is he gonna? I mean, that's fine. That that's meaningless. That means he's got two cards, <laughs> three cards. So three cards we don't know of. But he's dead. Oh, you could even atrocity it again. We don't need to, but you know, if the option was there, if, the, if, if needed, um, that worked out nicely. Okay, so a very similar deck, only this one's running the... So it's basically Mono Targon, only it's running... Um, what's his face, right? It is running the... I should get rid of that as well. Um, Demacia Landmark, that's the one. Plaza. We do have turn one, this going into this. Obviously, like, you know, we kind of don't want to be playing you on turn two because we're not going to get the hook. If they have Zo on turn one, we don't have Zo on turn one, so they might have the benefit. It depends on obviously, like you know what. Oh ha! He says. I mean, we go, we gotta go, we gotta go, go 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 go. See where one of our opponents go as well, because admittedly, I don't actually mind trading that off against our opponent. If we can get the late game value, oh, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I mean, admittedly, potential hook, potential hook. Um unit but gotta go for it. he got rid of the egg man but the egg man that's okay it's okay we'll take we'll take the super, super school i just really hope they did not get serpent from that because they honestly could have and serpent's not what i need to see right now don't make me see serpent don't make me okay right oh no he's going again he's going again and here's I, 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 he, 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 picked, he picked a lot quicker that time he picked a lot Only quicker that time. Prepared. 
It's gonna be serpent. It's gonna be serpent. Oh, no charger. Okay. Could have been worse. No, no, that's the worst. <laughs> that's the worst. Okay. I mean, it's not what I need to see in my life. Like they, mm -hmm. they only have like certain, like only like two cards left in their hand at the moment, though. They got two cards left. I mean, admittedly, like that could be like power cascade. I mean, that could that could be power cascade and problems resist. along those lines. But it's okay. So basically, our next turn is going to be get uh, get this off the board. Like get one of these off the board, so that be because admittedly we might just see the drop of landmark next turn. But so they've only got two cards. If we can stabilize, we can stabilize in an okay way. Actually, we could even just go with playing star chart. Playing star chart. Getting this. Getting this onto it. Getting this onto the field. We could actually go with, like, you know. We could actually go with going elusive on our opponent right now. Because, I mean, like, this is if we were to trade both of these off. I'm actually going to take it just in case our opponent plays so. But we play, we play that. We could actually, would you play Starry Scout? I mean, maybe we should have played Starry Scout first and just tempt out the Zoe move. Yeah, no, we should have we should have played so we should we should have played this first to tempt out the Zoe move because that would have uh, been funny. Uh, I'm actually gonna keep this back. No more lies. I'm actually gonna keep it back because be heard. we need to keep that challenge minion back for Zoe, and if he drops down like there, okay, there's Plaza. So we should have we should have probably done that and just trade that. Off, but it's okay, it's okay. I'll take I'll take this. I'll take this. So we got Zoe. Yeah, again, the problem is that we can't really play her now because right now he's any units that he plays just instantly become hook hook units that cause us problems. Okay, so we lose we lose Diana we lose Diana, but I'll, sa I'll sadly have heart. to take that. He got rid of a hush for that. Um, we lose Diana, but I will take that for the greater good. Um, part of me always feels like I'm gonna. I really want to play this guy, right? This is the guy who I want to play. But then, if he's got something in that invoke category that's going to be devastating, um, I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to wait and see what our opponent does. They've only got two cards. Bear in mind, they haven't got a lot of resource, right? They haven't got a lot of resource. They've only got... Okay, what's... Oh, he's deciding. He's making the decisions. He's doing the big boy. He's doing the big boy moves. He's doing the big boy moves, but what's he going to do? He's playing, right he's playing like a, what's considered like a, the standard meta version of this deck, right? He's playing it with um, Damasian Landmark. But can we find a way through? Can we find a way through in a stupid way? So we could remove his Landmark. We could remove his Landmark, which then actually opens up the possibility for playing Zoe onto the field. Like, if we, if we remove our opponent's Landmark, we definitely open up the possibility that Zoe can go onto this field, right? Because basically, the main reason we don't want to play is because he's got the ability to challenge. Uh, he's got enough. He's got enough one in hand, doesn't he? He's got that sad Poro mode because he just Im immediately throws down another. <laughs> he immediately throws down another landmark right now, doesn't he? So we can force four. If we if we threw the serpent out and drew this away, we could force four damage into our opponent. We don't know what they've got in their hand. Um, they've only got three cards. Okay, I'm just gonna go forward like that. Potential power cascade. Okay, okay, no, no, no. I mean, if it's not gonna be a power, I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take that. Chance. It's not gonna be a power cascade. Oh, that, that'll be why. Uh, we do actually have a sunburst if, if if we wanted to deal. Okay, right now. So this does. How does that work? It does because it says that it silences it. And deal. So does it hit? Does the silence hit first and get rid of the spell shield? Like, I dare a message how's, how's that? How's that interaction work? Right. Okay. Right. We can just throw down Arzo. We throw down Arzo. We can throw down Serpent, which can grab theirs away next turn. It's not too bad. <sighs> Come at me, bro. Just that, uh, he just he's just baiting he's baiting me to see whether or not I'm willing to accept the Zoe trade um the thing of it is I feel like I keep mine back I've got more resource than my opponent does you can't stop me. I honestly feel like I've got more resource than my opponent does here we could actually 
just for our Moonlight Affliction to get rid of that spell shield. Protector, shield me. I mean, might not end up being the best plan, but I'll take it. <laughs> not, might not end up being the best plan, but I will weirdly take that move. Oh, man. I, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure what our opponent was gonna do, so I don't. I don't mind weirdly doing that. With a little time, I'll have a. I okay, right. If I play the ser, actually no. We play. I was thinking if I play the serpent, then it means that if I play this, like, it probably feels like maybe we play Eclipse Dragon next turn. I play the serpent for, If I play the serpent now, then it means that I get just to play this. Although probably thinking, do I sunburst next turn? Right? If I sunburst. We could potentially just get rid of the Raiding Guardian and then all of our worries. <laughs> it means no worries for all the rest. I mean, but I mean, big ass unit as well. You know what? You know what? I'm just gonna sunburst it. I'm just gonna just gonna just gonna go. You know what? Screw 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 this noise. Screw this noise. Potential chip. Potential Bastion if he's got it or whatnot. But our opponent's got very little um, things going on in their hand right now. Yeah, Clips Dragon. I knew, I knew there was a chance. I knew there was a chance. I feel, weirdly, I feel sharp. I honestly am getting sharp sight vibes. I'm honestly getting sharp sight vibes. And so I don't. I'm getting sharp sight vibes. I know that he's only got one card and I probably should just go for it. Yeah, even our opponent's confused with that one. But for some reason, I'm getting sharp sight vibes. I don't know why, I probably shouldn't. But my mind tells me. Sharp sight, he's got it. <laughs> I might be 100% wrong. Probably's like, probably's like, I mean, he got rid of a hush early game. He got rid of a hush in the early game. Though part of me still thinks that our opponent has got a hush move go going on. Um, this is not the wisest of, of moves. That is not the wisest of moves, but I will take it. That is not the wisest of moves. My mind is thinking I can heal for 10, so I don't actually mind taking that hit. I'd rather take that hit than buff this. And so, this is definitely not how one... This is definitely not how one should do these moves! Okay. I feel, I feel, I feel like I'm definitely screwing myself over in some way, shape, or form, because I most likely am. But, my mind... Yep, I, know, I mean, you know what? I, I, I thought I, that's why that's why I was considering not not going forward with her. I was honestly considering like maybe that into that and then get the Eggman out of my way as well. Uh, that I definitely should have gone with that move. Actually, thinking about it, let's just go. Let's just see. We should have just see what we got from this as well. Um, so we got Scourge, or we could play. I mean, either one of these is actually not bad. I'm gonna go with the Great Beyond because it's got a spell shield. Gonna go at the Great Beyond. And actually, oh, the fact that we can play it this turn as well. Didn't actually re I forgot that this guy's effect was still in play. So, I mean, we should have done that first. We should have done that first without a shadow of a doubt. That should have been the move. That should have been the move we did first. Okay. We've got an atrocity. We've got a heal. Uh, our opponent could... Bear in mind, our opponent... Could also have star shaping as well. Um, we definitely played this in probably not the best of ways, but hush. Okay, so we've got hush. Okay, so in a weird, in a weird way, that might have just saved our lives. He says, while also knowing that I definitely saved my life. Okay. So, guess we trade. We trade this dragon into this dragon. Potentially get rid of this man. I mean, I guess actually he's, he's, he's got usefulnesses. Do we, just, do we just trade off what's her face? Because, I mean, what, what, she doesn't have much use to me right now, right? Ignorant brawl. So, yeah. That has at least got some use to me, in my opinion. Like that, that, um, this guy could potentially still have some use to me. Could go for that massive heal, see what we get. Bear in mind, as long as we keep it, as long as we keep the mana for atrocity, as long as we keep the mana for atrocity, I honestly don't mind. 
potentially do want to take living legends as uh we're we'll see what we get see what we get kind of thing we do have one of these so things are going to be slightly cheaper our opponent basically needs to have two hushes right now right actually they've already used they've already used they've, they burnt one hush and they used the other one so the ability of hush is less likely um what they could have is single combat single combat because I'm just trying to think like what, what I is it that so single so yeah so single combat single combat could be a thing. We hope it's not a thing, but it could be a thing. We go we go we go for this. It's got a spell shield on it. It requires multiple things for him to get round. There we go. Dude. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. So that is the Starry Knight deck. Actually, you know what? Yeah, out of every deck that I've actually done and recorded, there's normally, you know, wins, but there's also losses. This actually won 100% of its games on my recording. And I recorded at least, I don't know, like five or six, sorry, uh, five or six games. So actually a really good deck, really solid deck. Um, I would definitely say, like, you know, run something similar to this, or if you want to make some changes, like, you know, just only only the bare minimum. But definitely, there's things in this deck which can get you through a lot of different options. So please let me know what you think down in the description down below, as or the uh, which is the uh, thing down below, as well as the fact that obviously, if you want to catch me live on Twitch, I'm live on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays UK time. There is a Discord link down below as well as the fact that's the podcast as i said voices of the old ones that i do with janky so you want to check that out please feel free to um i'm trying to get as much legend of Interior content out as i can i hope you're enjoying it i hope that i'm giving you guys a few laughs here and there um and honestly thank you so much if you want to hit that subscribe button and help, which helps support this channel please feel free to and if you're already supporting honestly thank you so much for everyone who's like i said like i subscribed over here or followed on twitch as well just honestly just every little bit just helps reaffirm reaffirm the stupidity of which i'm doing so thank you <laughs> so thank you all so much until next time bye flash of brilliance that could save me save me that doesn't save me okay is there anything from you save me that doesn't save me okay Get rid of this and get rid of this. Find something that can save me.